Hey, I'm back, and I saw this today, or actually a few days ago, and I thought, and another one. As you can see here, it says, Japanese elementary school teacher gets drunk, visits student's house, and beats him with a stick. <sighs> Okay, so for those that don't know, there's a popular game called Taiko no Tatsujin, and it's basically one of those rhythm games, and you hit this drum-looking thing with sticks. This is known as like a taiko drum in Japanese. This, or actually, it's an electronic equivalent of it. And so, at first I thought, like, oh, okay, maybe the teacher was angry at the student, so he, like, hit him as punishment. Which would make sense, but it's still bad. You don't want to do that. You know, that's illegal in Japan. You can't just hit students with sticks. But then I read it, and it was even stupider than that. Apparently, this teacher was you know, getting drunk with his colleagues, which I guess there's nothing really wrong with that. But what he did next was, you know, really wrong. For some reason, he went to his student's house. And it's one of the strange things, like, how did he know where his student lived? But perhaps they live in the same neighborhood, so it's still not that strange. But he's drunk, and he knocks on the door, and the student lets him in. And the strangest thing here is they don't say much about, like, the parents, but I'm thinking, like, if your son's teacher comes in your house completely wasted... Wouldn't you call him a cab or like tell him to go away or whatever? But they didn't, and they said upon entering the home, he proceeded to beat the boy about 30 times on the back and the shoulders with a drumstick normally used for playing home drumming games. <sighs> Apparently he thought he was a member of Tao or something and just started, you know, giving this kid the business, giving him that work. Uh, unfortunately, his work wasn't uh, beating drums, he's actually beating his students. And another strange thing, I thought like, wait, wh where are this kid's parents? Like 30 times? It there's really an easy way to stop this, for those that don't know. Uh, there's a technique that I learned a while ago that will, you know, take care of this. It's called an uppercut. You quickly give it to someone's jaw and it stops this kind of reckless behavior. So I don't know what his parents were doing and why they didn't stop this man from just hitting their kid. But anyways, it says here, although the boy's parents were present during the attack, the teacher chased after the boy who ran away and managed to take refuge in the toilet. The toilet door then received a beating, eventually becoming damaged as the teacher attempted to get his hands on the student. What are the parents doing? You just let the teacher chase your child around the house and then break your door. It says the inebriated man was eventually forced out of the home, only to continue beating on the front door, ringing the doorbell numerous times for approximately 15 minutes after being ejected. One, where are the parents? Where are the police? It sounds like this happened for an extended amount of time, so would somebody please do something? This is one of the times where I think politeness goes too far. It's good to be polite, it's good to, you know, take a calm, leveled approach to things, but when there's somebody chasing your child around and beating them in your house in front of you, maybe you should perhaps do something. Maybe getting physical in that case isn't the worst idea, but what do I know? So after this, the Board of Education reviewed it, and he's been suspended for, I think, three months, I think it said here. Anyways, you can read this yourself. I think three months suspension is a little bit light. The teacher says he didn't know, like, what happened. It says here the boy actually sustained injuries for a week afterwards, but I don't know how serious that is. Those drumsticks, they're somewhat hard, but they're kind of like a, a soft, I think actually plastic, not a soft wood. But... Like they shouldn't cause they shouldn't have caused too much trouble, I think, but what do I know? But this is a ridiculous story, so I don't know. I can't believe the boy's parents were there and they allowed this drunk man to just hit their child thirty times with those sticks and chase him around the house until he took refuge in the bathroom. I don't know, but tell me down below, do you think this teacher should have been punished more harshly. I think three months is a little bit light for <laughs> beating a student chasing him around the house. Of course, I think in Japan, oftentimes they let people get off a little bit light if they're drunk, but I think there's no excuse for this. Even if you're drunk, I've, I've gotten drunk plenty of times. I didn't do anything like that. 
So, I don't know. Leave me your comments below. Give me a thumbs up for this if you like this. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do a vlog this week, but I thought I'd give you this instead. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you.